here, as you see, this is the program for today's festival. As you know, we have each time uh, something. And today we've got a surprise. We are going to listen to a beautiful song. Cho Ro Reverend Rosemary has chosen it for us. So together later. Uh, shall we start? It's okay with me. Yes. Uh, let me invite, can you invite a Laurel in? Because I told her I will invite you. I'm not, let me invite Laurel first. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, invited her. So, hello everyone. Hi guys. Hello. Yeah, do you see do you still this the program on uh, on my screen, the festival February program of uh love? I, do. I do. Yes. So, we are going first through an introduction and we welcome you and then uh, we are going to give, uh, or to uh, the next participant or speaker will be Reverend Rosemary. She mm -hmm. is going to tell us something about the theme of love and the whole idea. You know, before every month we gather and we choose a theme for the month, she is going to, uh, to tell us something about that. And then we are going to listen to a song by John Lennon, the song name Imagine. I, I think you know it. And later, you are going participants to introduce mm -hmm. yourselves and tell us which programs you are attending regularly or which programs you have been into and you liked and how we can adapt because that's the most important in here, how we can serve you better, how we can adapt our content to meet your needs and your expectations. Yes. And the fifth one, we are going to speak about some new projects on the platform that is going mm. to be group projects and one-to-one -one language exchange, some advanced programs that you have seen probably on the website as you go to the homepage, and also about the donation option on the website as Rosemary is going to speak about this. And here, as you see, there will be a form or whoever didn't get it yet. I think, Nesreen, you didn't get the form yet because I didn't see your answer. So I'm going to forward it for you. Nor I got your answer for the language exchange. And we are going to close in, uh, to close uh, with, a pr uh, f before closing, we are going to ask you whoever was born in February so we can celebrate together along with myself as I was born in the month of love. I feel so lucky. Yeah. And <laughs> else was born in this month of love we can also mm -hmm. wish him and sing for him or her and uh yes and at the end rosemary, rosemary hyde is going to say prayer and close the festival okay, okay. uh Everyone, I really welcome you to this event. I know that some of you were in the uh, class and you had to come again here, so thank you. But before all, I want to thank you for your participation with us, your ideas, sharing your knowledge and building up on your knowledge, uh, more, more knowledge through the programs that we have been into during the whole month of uh, February. My name is Sabrina and I am the LPNOW program coordinator and content manager. And today we are gathering to celebrate a whole month of programming. Uh, so welcome to all of you. Uh, some of you are both participants and teachers and guides. Some mm -hmm. of you are precious uh, yeah, uh, I mean, um, uh, say this. Fidel. Partic participants, peacemakers. No, I want to say Fidel. Um, Faithful. Someone, yeah, Fidel, someone who regularly comes everywhere. Uh, yeah, so yes. we come uh, in all programs. So that's uh, that's appreciative. 
Uh, then Very now, much. yeah, yeah, exactly. Then now you, Rosemary, uh, you can tell us why uh, we have chosen the theme of love and what does it mean to you, the theme of love? What does it speak to uh, and uh, what we have been, uh, what it has been as a whole idea? Okay, yes. Uh, here in the United States, we celebrate love uh, as a theme for February because of Valentine's Day. And it's, it is probably the most basic energy and the most powerful feeling, if you really think about it. Think, just think for a minute about love, about all the, the experiences that you've had of love, of being loved and of loving. And think about how empty life would be if we didn't have that opportunity, that experience. Let's just reflect on that for a moment. Would you all agree with me that love is the existence of love, the power of love? is something you're grateful for. I certainly am very grateful for love. I mean, there are times when I have felt that I didn't have love, and those were very painful times when somebody had, you know, broken up with me or uh, didn't want to be a friend or, you know, didn't want to uh, receive what I wanted to give them. Those are painful moments. And the pain, as our pain for everything, makes me more aware of the blessing that love gives us. So think about love. It actually comes from inside us, every one of us. We think our first experience of love is receiving it from other people, but it's inside us as well. And generating love, sharing love is now, one of the basic needs that we have in our lives, we all need to be loved and to be able to love, to have our love appreciated and received. And the people that love us, that are kind to us, that, you know, even when we've screwed up, are willing to love us, are a great gift in our lives. Um, it's a gift that we can create and activate in our lives whenever we think of it. We can always go within and center in our hearts, in our feelings, and generate love. There's a, um, a Buddhist practice that I really enjoy doing that is called loving kindness meditation. And it's basically loving people in our minds, in our hearts. So from a place of meditation, we simply think of someone that 
we love. That is important in our life. That we are happy to know. And we wish that person, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live in beauty and peace. We don't have to tell the person that we're sending them good wishes, but I don't know, when I do it, it feels good to send good energy to a person that I love very much and that I appreciate. And it's also a practice for growing because you can go beyond wishing good energy and good experiences for the people that you love. Now think of somebody that you don't know much about, somebody that, you know, you know, but you don't know much about that person. And let's wish in our minds, the person, whoever you're thinking of, wish them the same goodness. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live in beauty and peace. How does that feel? To think of someone else, another person, and wish those great experiences to them. How does that feel? Feels warm. Feels warm. Okay, good. Yeah. Any other? Feels good. Peaceful. Feels good. Yeah. Makes me smile. <laughs> Feel empty. Feel what? Empty. Empty? Yes. Tell me more. So, for example, when when we, uh, um, how to say it? I don't know how to ex express it, but when we are good enough in our um, life, yeah, feel the same good vibes to other. So you are you are empty because you are uh, uh, you are good enough. I don't know how, uh, if uh, the message. Uh, Let's say it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Empty is is con con yeah. <laughs> what you're wanting to say. Say it in French. What is the word that you want? Complete. Come on. Complete. Complete. Ah bon. Okay. You feel fulfilled. Ah okay. Yes, indeed, absolutely. Okay. Anybody else? Are you ready for the next one? The next one might be a little bit challenging. I mean, you know, this, this is a practice. You can choose to do it or not. It does feel good. But now I'm going to challenge you a little bit and say, think about somebody that bugs you somebody that bothers you, somebody that you are not really happy when you see them, you think, oh, no. <laughs> we all have a couple of people like that in our lives. Yes, true. Yeah, exactly. So think about that person and then say to that person, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live in beauty 
and peace. That means we have to forgive him or? Well, at least enough to wish him good things or her. Yeah. What is that? How does that feel? It feels like I'm lying to myself. <laughs> I okay, okay. But you're not you're not telling any story. You're you're creating a wish that isn't totally what you feel, right? You feel that little discrepancy. Right? Uh, kind of, I have something to say about this for everyone, Noor and all the rest. When something happens, when someone hurt us, uh, the first couple of, uh, I don't know, time, months, weeks, uh, it's hard to go through this experience. I can understand everyone. But keep in mind that time, as time goes by, you are going to free yourself because, because you cannot say this to this person. You cannot say this to this person because you are you still feel hurt. This is the only reason. It's fear and the feeling of, of being hurt. And then the more this person doesn't mean uh, or you, you go over, you let go, the more you, it doesn't there is no no longer this barrier for wishing him good, wishing him beauty or her, because you are going to consider him or her the way you consider any other person in the world that you have no query with, you have no um, no thing for uh, you feel no, no bad for. So I think that this is a process that is going to take time. But believe me, when you can do that, like for people who have been always a pin in the, uh, sorry. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you are going to uh, do do a fav do yourself a favor. And I, I think that we all want to do ourselves a favor and feel peaceful and uh, it's not for him, it's not for her. It's not That's for right. Her. It's for you because you are going to feel uh, high. Hi, um, I mean, hi. In in a way, you are going to feel um, compassionate, loving. This is the feeling that you need. It has and, nothing to do with them. But right, it and it frees you from your negative feelings about the other person. Yes. That's that weighs you down when you don't like someone, or you, you know, you just. You don't want to have anything to do with them. It weighs us down energetically. I think that uh, we should be grateful for people who hate us because uh, in other way they, um, how should say that, they uh, give us lessons and they uh, show us the parts uh, which we hate on our, we, which we hate in ourselves. That is very true. Yes. They are the reflect, they, um, it's uh, like a mirroring of... Uh, yes, exactly. Us. And so, that part of ourselves that we don't like, psychiatrists yeah. call that the shadow self. The shadow. And what's in there is all the stuff that we're ashamed of, that we don't want to look at, we don't want to think about ourselves. We kind of put it in a closet and close the door. <laughs> and, but in that closet we have stored up a lot of energy that we can learn to release to let go and that brings energy that we can use to grow and to be a greater person so we have I think that we have to tolerate and accept um, our defaults and uh, our parts, yep. good or uh, so to um, to be able to love others. That's correct. Yes, it's a dual that, thing. That's totally correct. Yes, and actually, if you want to learn more about this uh, part, shadow of us, you can go to one of the lessons of the Mojo Guide, and he has been explaining this very well. I'm just going to summarize. As you've been saying, Saida, this is very true, because there is a hidden or a shadow or um, 
a, a black side part of us that we all have a tendency not to go there, Protect. not to identify, and not to get on well with. And unless we do that, we cannot see it in others. So first of all, we have to identify it in us to accept it, to be in peace with it. And then you can become more tolerating for other people's side, the same shadow side in other people. So unless you do it with yourself, you cannot do it with others. And I think that this is a, a, a two way things. Um, and then you are going also to forgive yourself and make peace with yourself for things. We're not perfect, we will never be. And we, this is not what we're looking for. So we just need to, to work on ourselves to show the best part to be the best version of ourselves every day so i agree with you and i just wanted to say this uh, as you have been speaking about this uh, shadow part of us very yes good. thank and you we have also to keep in mind that um, people they behave from their ego so mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have um, bad programmation bad yeah uh, bad memories they right. um, they just react from their uh, bad memories, not because they are uh, not good with us, but uh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. We don't have to judge. Yep, that's true. So let me lead you in the final part of this practice. And that is, as you've all been saying, to think of ourselves and to say to ourself, may you be happy. May I be happy. May I live healthy. May I live in peace and beauty. How does it feel to wish that to yourself? Hmm? Does it feel a little bit strange? Maybe a bit uncomfortable? Maybe, Maybe it feels like, oh, I don't deserve that. Maybe. No, I deserve it, actually. <laughs> yeah. I really do deserve it. I, yes. I want to get over everything that really bothers me. And uh, I want to get over um, the criticize that I give myself. Right. So really wish uh, all of that to myself and to be quite, uh, quite good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. May each one of you be happy. Thank you. You deserve it. May you be healthy. May you live in peace and beauty. Each one of you. That is what my vision is for you. Thank you. Uh, as Lauren has been saying all in all her sessions, there is a connection, a worldwide connection by the heart. And there is an institution called HeartMath. I don't know if you have heard about it. So the more your, your connection to the worldwide, with your heart, of course, to all people in the world, to all people's heart in the world, then you're, it will affect your way of thinking. You are going to start thinking positive and you will like it. You will like your new self, your, the new you that is uh, uh, wishing good things to others, though not always those others have been nice to you, see? So it is really, um, after all, it's, it's about you because you are going to feel happy, to feel good. Um, yes, I think this is what we should uh, do, connect to other people's heart, uh, wishing them all the things that Rosemary have been wishing us right right mm -hmm. now, and for especially for people we don't know also. It's a, yeah, it's a good practice. Thank you, Rosemary. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so uh, do we have another practice, Rosemary, or can we move on? Go ahead and move on. All right, so, um, yeah? Rosemary, uh, sorry, I have a question, but sometimes um, if we don't believe on that in, from the internal, that we don't believe that we, uh, we wish that uh, good things uh, to others. And um, I think for me, I don't know, but I yeah. feel like 
I'm lying to myself. And uh, well, can you imagine your mind and your heart softening at some point, and you having more love to share? Can you imagine that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you can imagine it, then it can be true. And it's up to you to choose that idea. So if you keep that in mind, you're not lying to yourself. You are imagining what is possible. Mm -hmm. That's a different, a little bit different way to come at it. And that is exactly why it's a practice that actually helps us to become more loving and more happy, more healthy. Because we create our reality with what we think. But, you know, sometimes we feel confused. Uh, we have... Um, yeah. We do. Both, both we do. Uh, you know, you feel that hate, and uh, on the other hand, you feel that uh, you should love others. And right. It's like conflict. Yeah. Uh, conflict. Oh, yeah, exactly. So you make a choice in that conflict, and you pick an answer that you want to ex exemplify. You want to live this answer. And that's what you're doing when you're saying these things is this is what I'm choosing. And you know what? Your brain believes you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay. That's, okay those, are, those are very, very, very good questions because they get to how it works. And it does work. And people worldwide, as they've learned this practice, have been using it as a way to grow more loving and more caring. Okay. Here's a little, little bit of imagining. Yeah, I think yes, imagination is a big uh, thing. Uh, actually, we've been learning this in the 12 powers and uh, you can also join us and uh, get to know more about your emotions. Emotions is a great, is a big packet, package of us. It's, a, it's the brain is something powerful, but emotions is also very, very powerful. So we, we gotta learn from them and identify them. Right away, we are going to cheer up a bit and listen to a beautiful song about imagination and the power of imagination. And it is by John Lennon, I guess everyone have, uh, heard about him or listen to the song so let's together listen to the song and meditate and while you are listening think positive think take yourself to this place to this dimension when you cheer up really and you are happy
<laughs> yes. Thank you. Did you like the song? Can yes. you summarize the content of the song? What we were speaking about? What was the song speaking about? Imagine How did it inspire you? Yeah, go up, go, go, um, Abdurrahman, go ahead. Yeah, it's uh, talking about imagine and peace. Yeah. It's like uh, it's emotional. I want to hug myself. Yeah, <laughs> you have the right to hug you. Of course. <laughs> yes. So yeah, so there's no one hug me, so I hug myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, imagine the word I as one. Yeah. yeah. And it's important for us to imagine it because imagination is real. Our mind perceives what we imagine just in the same way as it does a physical event. That's the thing. So our imagining can make things happen. The world could be that one. <laughs> yeah. It's a great thing to imagine, isn't it? Yes, the world it is. as one. Wow. I'm happy to imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for listening, guys. Now I am going to ask you uh, to just tell us. <coughs> Most of us, we know each other, we've been into programs together, but now it's been a month or two that you have been, you've been uh, attending classes in Alpinao. We would like to have some feedback from you in terms of uh, what classes or what programs you like or you have been into and you liked and you wanna uh, attend regularly and how can the content be more adapted to your needs and your expectations and uh, what do you like most about the community? Thank you. Uh, you can start, Nesrin. Well, first of all, I didn't uh, participate so much this month because uh, I had so much work. And uh, how to say it, malheureusement. Unfortunately. 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 So um, the first classes I attend was the English classes, and it would it would uh, it was it was very uh, helpful, and uh, I I did like it, and uh, yeah, and even the program like uh, d during the the week, so yeah, that's that's all I, I think. I just uh, hope that. Uh, this month I can't uh, attend the, the program and uh, yes, that's all. Thank you. So English helped, uh, was helpful for you. Thank you, Noor. Yes. Yes. So yes. I'm going to start with the, the teacher Laurel's classes. Actually, they were us and like uh, for today, uh, for example, today we uh, we had the chance like to meet uh, word stack uh, that describes uh, some situations uh, that could happen in uh, relationships. Um, so English, your program, you uh, the programs you have been into and you liked is English, right? No. You I think, to, think she may be frozen. Frozen internet, internet problem. Yeah. We lost her, I think. We lost her, yeah. If, no, she's back. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I discovered that I was talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, wow. I was, I was thought, why teacher Sabrina is, uh, like, she, she, she wasn't moving in. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. So I was talking about uh, teacher Laurel's uh, classes. I said uh, they were fabulous. Uh, for example, today's class, uh, we had the chance uh, uh, to meet uh, word stock uh, that describe uh, situations that could uh, happen in relationships, like uh, ghosting <laughs> in uh, love situations. 
uh, when people uh, disappear uh, without uh, telling the other side or uh, without any, uh, like anything happens. Um, also, I would like to talk about uh, Teachers Edwina last class. I just attended one session, but it was uh, wonderful. Um, like I discovered how uh, music um, can connect uh, people with each others. And it was amazing actually. And also music can be a, a very useful sor source to, le to learn English uh, very fast. Mm -hmm. um, finally, like uh, not finally, not least, uh, teachers uh, Sabrina, and yes, I was saying teacher Sabrina class. Um, it was very useful. And also, uh, I would like to talk about uh, Dr. Rosemary class, <laughs> which unfortunately I couldn't attend them because I had really tough exams. Um, and it was sad for me, but I would like to say that uh, we had a great conversation last meeting and I'm very happy about that. Yeah, we did. Uh, finally, uh, I would like to thank uh, LP now for all those uh, things that you are offering for us. Thank you very much. And since it's uh, uh, love month, so I would uh, uh, like to uh, share or to tell you that <laughs> I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. The yeah. end. <laughs> yes. Whichever program you have missed, whenever you have time, you know, you can go on the website and see the recording for Rosemary. Yes, actually, yeah, I saw a lot of records. Thanks to you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Noor. Jezia. Yes, thank you very much. Hi, Sabrina. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, in the beginning, I want to thank you, all of you, because um, it was very, very uh, helpful for me to uh, to uh, attend and to participate to your course Sabrina and uh, Nisreen for Spanish course and uh, music uh, lyrics for, for Edwina, Edwina. And I, yeah and I saw uh, also uh, your uh, your uh, presentation uh, madam Rosemary uh, I haven't time to participate uh, to all <laughs> to all uh, <laughs> because I'm very very active outside <laughs> that makes it hard yes yeah, uh, I'm riding horse today I had Ooh. I had it, uh, it the, today I had the competition and uh, I won the second class <laughs> Very good. Oh, Congratulations. <laughs> and uh, I, I participate to Lauren class uh, on road. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. I mean, you, you can listen. You don't have to watch. You know, I will drive in when, uh, when uh, the class begin. And um, I want to thank also helping now to... Uh, what uh, you offer for uh, all of uh, all of uh, how to say no all of yeah. us all of us yeah, yeah. yeah. all of us and uh, uh, thank you a lot yes um, yeah <laughs> thank you're you you're welcome yes exactly abdurrahman yes um thank you all uh i don't have a too too much to say, but thank you, thank you very much. Welcome, thank you, uh, Saida. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like to, uh, to thank you first for the the lovely energy, um, because I noticed that uh, all um, participants here are uh, full of energy, positive energy and peace, um, and uh, I would. I would like to be uh, surrounded with uh, people like you. Um, yes, and uh, I think it is my first time uh, here uh, say, uh, from my first subscription. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I will because I've got a lot in my plate uh, this month. But uh, I will try. I will do my all my best to uh, attend the uh, courses and the conference uh, here. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yes. You are welcome. And the month of March is approaching. You are going. You are going to see the calendar soon, and you can go in what, whatever class you are interested in. You are welcome in all classes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Sabrina. I don't know if, uh, sorry, Sabrina, if, like, I don't know if uh, we, we have time. If it's possible, I can share with you a very short video for one minute for my, uh, uh, how to say, my, my Your competition? Uh, yeah, this, for this morning. <laughs> okay. Want... Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Go for it. Share your screen. On your screen. Let me let me uh, invite you to be host because I don't think you can do it. And I don't know. Hold on a second. Okay, try now. Try to share your screen now. I don't know where is my écran. Share écran. Share screen. Uh, Autorisé, yes. Uh, I don't know. Okay. There you are. There you go. So, oh, we saw, we saw uh, it. Uh, I understand. Sorry, I don't. I don't find the video. <laughs> uh, I know. I, it's, uh, sometimes it's hard. Not so uh, it's the first one for me. I don't <laughs> never share. Okay, we can do. We can leave this to before the end. Okay, did you make it? All right. Okay. Um, oh no, it's you again. No, so, no, no. <laughs> you can try to find the video. I'm going to yeah. yeah. At the program, and then you can show us the video before we leave. So guys. Yes. In the chat, if you can see in the chat, I have shared with you a link. This is a link for the uh, application, exchange language application. Most of you, I think, Jazia, I got yours. Nesrin, not yet. Abdurrahman, not yet also. Or did you send me? Did you submit it, Abdurrahman, for the exchange language? The app? The application, nor I got yours. Saida also try to uh, copy paste this link to your computer. And if you are interested in small group practice or one to one practice, you can uh, fill in the, uh, the application, fill in the form and send it or submit it to me. And I will try to find partner for, partners for you. Let me show you something that I've been working on so that we can. Uh, I have a question, uh, Sabrina. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So the partner with um, who will practice with is, is, he is a native speaker or what? I what we are intending to do is to find native speakers for you or at least advanced speakers. Advanced, of the yeah. Yes. So let okay. me show you something. Here is the Excel sheet I was working on. Uh, uh, those last uh, days when I received your app. So here. I have the name, the full name, and then the username on the website. Here we are. Let me show you the Laurel. Laurel Archer is, for example, one of the participants who would like to go for an exchange. And she's native speaker of English. And she wants to learn Spanish and French. OK? So, um, so here is the email of her and the language she would like to learn that is Spanish and French and she can teach and help others with English and also French for beginners. So she's like intermediate in French. And you can find here in the learning style, what would, how would, would she like to uh, learn? So throw songs, lyrics, uh, uh, translation, you can read this. I will display and post this on the website somewhere. And here you can find also a small bio of, of the person. So she's saying, for example, I'm an English and French teacher to Americans, but I would like to learn more Spanish. And, and if you know Spanish and you'd like to learn English, so uh, Laurel Archer is the good match 
or the best match for you. So I have a lot of people here, I think 24 people or 26, let me tell you exactly the number. And as, uh, as many as you are, it's better because we can find partners for you or small groups. It can be small groups or partners. So I have 23 participants and I will soon help you with a list where, from where you can choose or uh, show interest whenever in whichever language you'd like to. Uh, this is one thing. The other thing I wanted to show you, uh, I don't know if my screen, uh, if you can see my screen, because sometimes it plays uh, things. So this is it. We, yes, we see your screen. Oh, okay, so <laughs> mute yourself, please mute yourself. Thank you. So this is the link here. I'm going to copy it and send it again in the chat. This is a link for the the form and the form is just here it's it's something like that you know you write your full name you write your username on the on the website you write your country your email the language you want to learn the language you can help others to learn and your availability please write it as uh, in your country okay as in your country so say for example in the evening in the morning at three at four in my country because I have your country up. But if you say nothing, I cannot I cannot know whether it's in your country or in because you know people are from different <laughs> take whichever is good for you here. So learning style. It's about learning style. And then you can tell me something about yourself. So what what you do in life or what you are interested in. It's optional. It's optional. I'm going to share this in the chat now. So pick it, copy paste it to the computer and fill in if you are interested in, uh, uh, in small groups or one-to-one -one, uh, language exchange. The other thing I wanted to show you is the advanced programs on um, the Elpina website. So the Elpina website has recently uh, took a new form, a new design. If you go to the homepage here, you are going to have this, see? So homepage access programs, this is the, uh, uh, the common page we used to have, and then advanced programs, and then the blog. So let's speak about the advanced programs. The advanced programs are specific programs uh, which are, like a, uh, learning a customized, like TOEFL, IELTS, or certificate programs like the 12 powers that Rosemary is uh, doing. So we are going to try to build a course with uh, certificate awarding, and we are going to put it in the advanced program. So if you are interested in any specific program in cons concerning the languages or personal development programs, you can speak with the guide or we can do another conference and we can see how we can help you. However, these programs are going to be with a small fee because, you know, we need to sustain the, the community and as it is an NGO, it is uh, relying only on donations. And speaking about donations, in the next upcoming days, you are going to see on the website small buttons that are going to pop in for you if you are willing to participate or to help which with whatever amount uh, you can in order to make or to keep this community ongoing. This is all what I wanted to speak about. So the advanced program, the donation button, and also the uh, language exchange uh, application form. If you've got any questions about these three points, you can ask us, or if not, we can go and see if Jezia is ready to share her video. I don't know why I can't share it. I I don't know if you are you you have your uh, messenger open or your. Uh... Yes, yes, you can send it on my uh, messenger, and I try to. Um... Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Miss. Um, in the application, I um, I put the country uh, I live in, right? Yes, right. Yeah, you live in Turkey, so you, you write Turkey, yes, of course, because the time zone will be Turkey time zone, because you live in Turkey. I send it, uh, Sabrina, it's okay. 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 
Okay, I got it. Let me share my screen and show you. And so, do you see it? Yes, we do. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, what, we... what country are you in, Jazia? Uh, in Algeria. Okay. So how do we call this competition, Jazia, or this? Um, uh, and, uh, and club, uh, jumping. Jumping. Okay. okay. It's uh, one meter jumping. Okay. So you do this regularly, you do this once a year, how it does work? How does uh, it work? I'm, I'm new, it's my first time for enter club competition. I'm wow. a new, new <laughs> rider. Wow. And you won second place. That's really great. Yes. Yes. And how do they count the points? So the higher you jump, the, um, the most the, no all, all all of compete of category competitor have the, the same uh, high yes. okay uh, it's time and uh, you must uh, pass all uh, all uh, have to say uh, the obstacle obstacle right. yes yeah. you must uh, yeah. you must pass all of them and uh, well, it's uh, this, and he, you you must uh, arrive at the last one. <laughs> okay, yeah, that helps. Yeah, right, because there is a lot of uh, because horse is very difficult. Uh, he can uh, refuse. To yeah. Pass the horse back. Okay. Right. And how long have you been doing horse riding? Um. Five more. Oh. Wow. Wow. Very good. Yeah. She is a fast learner, Jazia. Yes. <laughs> I don't know me. Very yes. good. <laughs> she learned fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good horse. And what's the name of your horse? Leventino. It's um, a Spanish horse. Oh. Okay. And the Andalusian horse. <laughs> okay. So yeah. here uh, you are may you are halfway, I think. As I see in the video, you are halfway. So how, how does it feel? How did it feel when you were doing this? Did you feel uh, like you are going to win? Did you feel like I have to win? Did you uh, I ask you the truth? <laughs> I was very, very afraid. <laughs> Ah, okay. Because, well, uh, because uh, jumping is very difficult. Yeah. And if you don't have the 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 good position, you can uh, have to say tombe. Yeah, Fall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, when you fall up, fall up. Just you fall when you fall down. Yeah. When uh, yes, it's when you, uh, when you get back up. Yeah, it's very difficult because, uh, for example, my son uh, break his uh, leg. This oh, one. that would be difficult. Yes. Oh yes, I want to see when you uh, the end when you won. Does it show here how when you? Uh, no, no person. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh. It's, uh, he's uh, you can uh, have to say stop it because uh, okay playing, playing back well wonderful I congratulate <laughs> you yes mom kids and you practice sport and this is very uh, good vibes and energetic uh, really you are um, it's a it's very good and, yes yes. Uh, share with us. Actually, the next month, Jezia may singing and playing some instruments for us. She's all, also a singer and uh, she plays instruments. So oh, we, cool. Yeah. 
and do something together next Take next part time. On that part. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so the will be my coral <laughs> yes. uh, yeah yeah are yeah. you also huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so before close this meeting if you have any uh, comments or questions or you have anything to say for the upcoming programming or whatever in this community, how you it makes you feel um, more open to things, learning more and more positive, let us know. And right after taking up your comments or questions, you we are going, oh, let me ask you a question. Is anyone here uh, or was anyone here born in February? Was it your birthday this month somehow? Or no, no one was born in February. No? Okay, so you are going to sing one of you, of course, because the Zoom is not the best uh, audio <laughs> visual thing for singing all together as a choral, but at least we can pick up one uh, to sing the song <coughs> and uh, and then yes, and then we can enjoy yes. together. I, I Happy birthday. Show. Yes, can you sing it? Can you, do you know? I had birthday. <laughs> oh, everyone, everyone know how to say how to sing happy, happy birthday, no? I said in Spanish. I said ah, ah, that, yes, of course. Uh, my my daughter uh, no happy birthday is finished. She sing it. <laughs> Good. Oh, God. Good. Uh, I don't know the power. <laughs> Okay, I I sing with you. What <laughs> one one should sing? We can you can just just uh -huh. it in in, uh, in French or in English, and right after you next we can sing it in Spanish, and then mm -hmm. uh, because one Zoom is not good no. or more. Okay, let me switch off the light because I have a surprise for you, and then we can start. I, uh, I like and I like, uh, okay, you see, now I will show you something, you will love it. Look. Oh, <laughs> I like it, it's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yes, love is all we need. Okay, we can sing now. I will switch on light. Jazia, can you sing for us? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I haven't. I uh, have to say, une belle voix. <laughs> I sing, but I haven't. Uh, beautiful voice. <laughs> Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire tout le monde. Joyeux anniversaire. Thank you. Nasrin, Spanish. Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz todos. Thank you, thank you. Merci. Who, thank who, you. who gonna sing it in English? <laughs> I have definitely not good voice, so I'm not going to sing. That's fine. I got two languages. Other languages. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Rosemary, I think uh, we need to listen to your prayers and uh, get some positive energy from your words, uh, your compassion, your love. So let us listen to your beautiful word and close this meeting. And we are going to see each other next tomorrow, hopefully. So we are, we have come together on Zoom. During this past hour, we have felt joy. We have shared love. We have 
smiled. We have created good energy and sent it out to those we love and those we don't love so much and to ourselves. And so may all of you go forward and bring love to everyone around you and to your own selves, your wonderful, amazing selves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been great seeing you and sharing with you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm blessed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.